We finally have a space show. And Man, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, me too. I'm super excited because I've played this game, and I love this game, and I didn't know how you guys were going to take to it, but once we got done with that first recording session and all you guys were jazzed about it, I'm like, yes. Mm. Yeah. I wasn't jazzed when you first brought it up. I know. The yeah. graphics weren't exactly, I mean, the ships look awesome. The people are a little crazy looking. Yeah, they're very cartoony. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's a deep game. Yeah. Once you start playing it, you realize, oh, wow. Look at all the shit you yep. can do. We're talking about Pulsar Lost Colony. Pulsar yeah. the Lost Colony, one of the best space games ever made, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if anybody's ever played it. <laughs> it's, uh, like, no, like, they will it, it came out years ago on Steam, and I think it died immediately. Absolutely. But, pull, it up, pull it up on Steam and see how much it is. But it didn't it's die. It's got to be kind of cheap, right? Yeah, I think it's 24 think bucks. So. 24, 25 24? bucks. And yeah. they keep on, you said they're still active on it. They're still doing stuff with it, right? They're the developers? Yeah, I think so, there's updates all the time. Okay. So certainly not dead. Twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, let me see if I can go That's to the That's like uh, store. the price of a package of beef jerky nowadays. Is it? It's an expensive jerky. I know. There's a wide range of beef jerky packages. I guess so. I mean, well, that's true. It could be like a shit ton. You could that's have cheap like if a it's a 10-pound bag of beef jerky. Very true. Uh, I did want to confirm, yes, they uh, they still regularly update Pulsar. The last update was uh, Thursday, February 24th, so it's been a couple months ago. Yeah, and I personally do like the way, like, Absaro's character, because I got kind of got in his face, and I like the way your character looks in particular. I like the style of those Okay, well, dudes. good. Let me give a breakdown for anybody that doesn't know. You're in space. I mm -hmm. guess everyone's looking for the lost colony, right? Yeah, that's uh, immediately when you fire up your first... Uh, match or whatever your first world uh, the first message you get is hey everybody wh whoever can find the lost colony will get a big reward it's like a charlie and the chocolate factory kind yeah. of thing so find the lost colony you get a basic ship you pick a faction mm -hmm. you get a basic ship and then you can be the captain and then you can have a crew yeah. of four yep which could be your friends or they could be bots or you could do it by yourself and not spawn bots to mm -hmm. do the because you got to have an engineer a scientist a pilot and a weapons uh, guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then as captain, you kind of are telling these guys what yeah, to do. Yeah, it's basically it's like a st it's it's the best Star Trek game ever made, even though it's not the licensed Star Trek's not attached to it. Yep. Right. And there was a Star Trek VR game that you guys played, right? Yeah, and it was okay. It was very yeah. like that was repetitive because we got bored with that pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. And from what I've seen so far, there's already we've done one mission, I think, fought a ship. And you're, you've played a lot of it, and you said there's a lot of variety. Yeah, um, when, I, when I played it with some friends, like that's the one thing I was constantly surprised by was just the variety. It's like, you know, every planet you go to, all right, man, there's a mission on this planet that's completely different from the last mission that we did. And some missions are simple, and some missions are a little longer than others, but yeah, just that variety just keeps you engaged. It's like, man, that's like, I don't know what's around the next corner. And I, I like the, I mean, we could talk a little bit about what we've done, right? I mean, do we want to see the faction? That's fact. Some of the factions. Mm, yeah. Are do fun. we want to hold that? I don't know. You know, I guess that's that's an easy enough thing to spoil. Exactly. Um, so in the game, when when you play, there are like four factions that you can play uh, play as. There's the Colonial Union, which is your basic like Starfleet in Star Trek. Um, there's the WD Corporation, which is a weapons corporation. They're kind of the bad guys. They're like their own government. Yeah. And then there, you can be a a, a pirate and a bounty hunter. And then the last faction, which we decided to play as, is you are delivery people for the Fluffy Biscuit Company. That's yes. Right. And, and we are our working mission, our way up the our, board. Our mission is to uh, deliver biscuits across the galaxy. And be heroes. <laughs> and be right. heroes. But the fact that that game even has that in there, it's like, yep, this is this faction. It's a biscuit delivery company. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, I love it. I love it. I'm looking forward to, I haven't seen this yet, but you said that we could be boarded by an enemy. Yes. And we have to fight them off, or yeah. we could choose to, I guess, destroy an enemy's shields and board um, their yeah, ship. Yeah, I can't so, wait to board a ship. Yeah, so what happened? Yeah, in ship to ship combat, if you take down the enemy's shields, you can now board their ship. And if you like their ship, you can go, we're going to board your ship and we're going to take it. That's our ship now. Yep, it's our ship now. And so you just, can trade ships like that. Wow, and just leave our ship. It's done. It's yep. not like we can have it m magnetically follow us in space no no nope. nope. want that yeah i can't build a fleet maybe yeah that, maybe that's a future update let us have a fleet <laughs> okay. so you'd want to make sure the ship you take is better than your ship yeah exactly you like you might you go on there he's like do we like the layout do we like how everything's set up and it goes, yeah we like the we're taking the ship. yeah one thing i mean i know that we can definitely use an upgrade in quarters 
like an upgrade because <laughs> the captain's oh, got a yeah. nice little place and then and then everyone else is shoved Crew's into, all bunking together yeah right and there's not even any, i don't even see any beds there's bunk beds yeah, yeah there's bunk Are beds, there yeah. Bunk beds? Yeah. yeah 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 it's four of them i don't believe you okay well they're there <laughs> yeah right they're there right there all right they're right there you can also like the ship you have you can up you can buy and upgrade all that stuff all your turrets thrusters your your, yeah, no, that's that's fusion that's, core. That's the other thing that surprised me when you start playing is yeah, it's just the amount of stuff you can do to the ship. Like, yeah, your weapons. You can upgrade all the weapon systems in there. Uh your operating system. The ship has an internal computer. You can buy viruses to um shoot out at enemy ships to fuck up their internal computer. Mm -hmm. They can hit you with viruses, so you have to buy antiviruses and you can run programs. It, it's just it's stupid complicated. Yeah. Sometimes if you have enough viruses, you gotta shut your whole system down yeah, and restart you have to it. Reboot <laughs> it's literally turn it on and off again. Like your computer is so fucked up. It's like shit. We just gotta shut it down. <laughs> we gotta fire it back up. Boot the operating system. It's pretty great. McAfee. Yeah. What is it McAfee? Norton. Oh no, yeah, the Norton antivirus. Yeah. 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 Now you got to stop at a Norton spaceport and pick Fuck. one up. <laughs> but then, yeah, shields, hull, all that can be upgraded. As you collect scrap, you sell the scrap. Yeah, it's wonderful. And uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the galaxy is procedural every time. Oh, that's cool. So the same planets are there, but they're just in different places every time. Right. So anytime you start a new game, it's not the same layout as your first game. Yeah. And you may want to go to a planet, but you can't. You can only warp so far. Yeah. So you may have to stop at another you have to warp to one place and then jump to the next place, but you never know what's going to be at that place. You might mm -hmm. well. Sometimes you know. Warp. Sometimes you know that this is a bad place, right? Yeah, you can look at you can look at what system is controlled by the uh, or what faction controls what system. So, all right, we got to warp. We want to warp to this planet, but shit, to do that, we got to go through this faction system. So yeah. we might be in danger. But you can warp to a safe place, and there's pirates there. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. You in a neutral system, there might be pirates. You never know. And you yeah. can negotiate with the pirates. They'll say, hey, give me your money. And be like, hey, maybe a little bit of money. Or, ah, fuck you guys. That's right. You got that option as the captain. The oh, captain we, can yeah, negotiate. we had a situation where we had to make that choice. Yep. But you'll have to wait and see what happens. Can we tell them which roles we're playing? Who? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, the audience. The audience. Tim. <laughs> oh, I thought, Tim, yeah. I thought you meant like Tim. in a negotiation situation. I'm <laughs> no. sorry. We call them up and say, hey. Yeah, hey, this guys. Is yeah, no, that was my bad. Um, yeah, we can tell them what roles we're playing. I am playing the engineer. Mm -hmm. Neebs is the captain. I, I didn't want to be at first because well, Abstro knew, knows more about it. So, But, yeah, we're going to give him the job. We got Simon as the pilot. That's right, damn it. And then Thick is the weapons expert. Yeah. And then Dora will be our scientist once uh, once he joins the crew. Yeah. And He's was, on vacation right now, so that's, that's, right. Why, that's why there is no voice of Duralius here today. Yeah. Well, good. I wonder if he's going to like it as much as us, because, you know, you never know. You don't. He might be like, meh. My I guess, guess is, okay. meh, I'm going to go back on yes. vacation. <laughs> yeah. I think he'll like it. Yeah. I hope so. If well, he's he, got a, it's it's pretty damn involved. You said I'm sorry, so he's well, if be he's the a scientist. If he's a scientist, his job, like you've warp, warp into a system, his job is like, okay, scan the system. Up, oh, there's an enemy ship. Let me see. Can we take it? Yeah, is, is it, it tougher powerful? than us? Okay, no, I think we're pretty evenly matched. And then, like, if we're in ship combat, his job is basically the computer. It's right. okay. They're trying to hit us with a virus. Let me run an antivirus. Let me hit them with a virus. I'm like, hey, weapons guy, I'm gonna hit them with a virus to to lower their shields. Boom, their shields are down. Shoot them. You know, it's all, it's the whole game is just about communication between five people. Mm -hmm. He and also starts with a sensor, like yeah. a handheld mm -hmm. sensor. If we're on a planet, he can tell us where life forms are and things yep. like he that. He has a little mm -hmm. scanner. Yeah. He's got a health, uh, like a health thing, health, health beam. Gun. Yeah, he can heal, heal robots. Team. Yeah. So yeah, there's species you can be. There's human. There's a, I guess a species called the Silvasi, like a alien race, and then they're robots. I like the robot thing because I don't have to worry about being cold or hot. Right. I don't mind having a little bit less health because let's face it, probably isn't going to help me that much if I'm I'm probably just going to die anyway. Mm -hmm. well, we can upgrade you. Yeah, it's okay. There's a lot of upgrades. Your yeah, jet that's pack, the, yeah, your, your, your characters health. get upgraded too. Like as you play, it's like your each each class has upgrades. Like yeah. the captain can eventually d learn to do all the jobs. Yeah. Listen, to, we sound sponsored, but we're not. <laughs> we're not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I can't praise this game enough. This like, game probably it, doesn't have enough money to pay for sponsors yeah, well clearly. hopefully uh yeah it generates a little bit more popularity no, you know, yeah. because I, of us and then they put us in the game yeah it's got a, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> it's got, it's got a big yeah. learning curve but i encourage anybody out there who has a group of friends play pulse are the lost colony you will not regret it especially you if you have at least one friend like abstro who's willing to play it and and uh, and teach you a little bit along i the jumped way. in because 
you 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 said, hey, Nings, why don't you be captain? I'm like, all right. So I jumped in a little bit this weekend, yeah. just by myself. Spawned a bot or two so they could drive the ship or do whatever. I learned a lot more just by jumping in and kind of yeah, you know, messing around with it's, it. It's yeah. almost like going to a foreign country to to learn the language rather than doing yeah. an app or a book. Immersion. Yeah. Immerse yourself in Pulsar. Well, good. I'm glad you played it. Yep. I'll be more prepared next episode. Hell yeah. And to think, it's been around this whole time we've been looking. That's so it's been right there. Ridiculous. It's been right there. Which, you know, when, when I played it, I was immediately like, oh, this could be a series. Like, this has potential. But you but. know that there's probably, I would say, conservatively, a dozen people out there who have been, like, blasting in the comments, Pulsar, <laughs> Pulsar, I ho- I, yeah, why the I fuck hope, you play yeah. Pulsar? I hope somebody out there loves this game as much as we do and just is like, yes, they're playing Pulsar. So for all of you, you never know, that might have been been what got through him finally after years subliminally and then you were playing with your friends and then you know so thank you for for suggesting that for so long i know those people out there did we jumped in before we recorded just to kind of learn the basics Mm -hmm. and people because we were just in a public i don't know thing where people could jump in yeah yeah and a guy jumped in on his i think his name was like dead man reborn or something like that something like that yeah yeah he was kind of helping us out and chatting and stuff <laughs> yeah he was and, super patient yeah and i was like hey well check us out on youtube if you get a chance and and like they already knew who we were that's yeah. great and they said they'll be watching thank you to our sponsor nordvpn and they always have your back by securing your personal data and your internet activity and they have over 5400 servers in 60 countries so you got options baby and say goodbye to bandwidth throttling because nordvpn encrypts all your traffic so your internet provider can't slow down your streaming speed and nordvpn's new threat protection is a major upgrade threat protection blocks intrusive ads and web trackers and when you download a file threat protection inspects it for malware it also automatically scans urls and blocks malicious ones now nordvpn is more than just a vpn it's a badass cybersecurity tool and threat protection not only protects your devices but it protects you with the ability to block trackers it helps you avoid online spies and stalkers and you can access nordvpn from anywhere when you're traveling abroad stay home virtually it's just one click Open the map, click on a location, and you'll be connected in seconds. It's that easy. And as always, NordVPN has a fantastic deal to share with our community. So go to nordvpn.com slash Neebs to get a two-year plan with a huge discount. And it's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. So go to nordvpn.com to get a two-year plan with a huge discount. Thank you, NordVPN. I got recognized at the store yesterday. You did not. I did. Hey, your mom was there. She was like, hey, that's my son. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, little what happened? Hey, tell, tell us. Hey, Where you that. been? <laughs> Damn it. No, it was just a, a, a guy. I was, um, <laughs> I, I, he was in line and uh, he was in front of like the drink containers. And I was like, oh, excuse me real quick. Let me get this. He's like, okay. Kind of looked at me funny, but didn't say anything. And then when I was walking out to my car, he goes, man, I got a weird question for you. You ever heard of a Neebs gaming? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, man. Like, holy shit. Took a picture with him. Good guy. Looked like yeah. a hippie. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good. He had big old long hair. He had like a bandana on, some cool glasses. From right the past. on. Big old burly beard. I was like, I like, I like this guy. Nice. So... Have we talked about Pulsar enough? Are there other things we need to say? Well, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to give too it. much away. The series will be coming out. What? When? Did, when is this podcast? Yes, Ada. Out? Ada is taking care of this series. We're very, yeah, we're very much looking forward to what she does with it. If yep. I'm not mistaken, this podcast will be out on the 14th. Um, the series will premiere tomorrow, the 15th. Is That's that right? If, Look at the calendar, Neebs. Well, damn. I don't. You want to make sure of everything. That's what the calendar says. All Think? right. Uh, yeah. First episode should be tomorrow. Then let's hope. Let's hope it happened. Wow. Let's hope it happened. If not, yeah, <laughs> if it's not tomorrow, it'll be next week. Right. You and, you know, shit happens. We'll see. But, yeah. Okay, great. So, if that's that, do we move on to the contest that was won by these two guys over here in Seven Days to Die? Yeah, sure. we can talk about that. All right. Anthony! Anthony, Anthony get in here. It's oh, time. Yeah. What's up, baby? Hello. Come on in. Hello, yeah. hello everybody. Stop my, grabbing the my fucking in a good microphone. Spot right there. Yes. Can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> like, you don't know. You're like, hey, hey, hey. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Just hang on. Somebody joins in, like, you're fumbling a little. They're like, oh, man, oh, it's so real. I got to adjust know, it. Hey, what's up? Yeah. 
Hey. So what's going on? Thanks for having me on the Neebs Gaming Podcast. Wow. Wow. What an honor. What an honor. Yeah. 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 I can tell you're excited. How do you do this? How do you? Um, you just talk. Oh, right? We just talk to is. people. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we played seven days uh, alone-ish. Uh-huh. Alone-ish. And the winning team won in a, a trip of a lifetime. <laughs> Yes, to, mm-hmm. to, Myrtle to luxurious Beach. Myrtle Beach. Wow. Yeah. Which is about forty five minutes from here. Yeah, Anthony and I decided, all right, we won, so we're gonna take we're gonna take a weekend. We're just gonna go to Myrtle Beach for the weekend, spend yeah. a couple nights. It was an appropriate trip for the appropriate effort we put in. We were kinda stacked in this competition. Man, I kinda feel like we were. Yeah. You yeah. were. Like That's the, fun. the beginning mistakes were made and then we just kinda coasted out the rest in our bunker. I have to admit it. I mean, we did. I really wonder though, what would have happened had Duralius not Went after that pig, because just you having would've... a person <laughs> gathering wood, yeah, would have made a difference. Probably, yeah. Duralius died day one, day <laughs> one, and it was his series. He wanted to it. do it so bad. Oh, yeah, he was, yeah. No, I felt so sorry for him because, yeah, he, yeah, he was so excited to do this. And he talked, a, he talked a lot about how he was practicing Ooh. at home. Oh yeah, <laughs> and he, and he, he was that, and that's where it that was his made downfall. Sense. It Ooh. sucks mm-hmm. that he's yep. not here, and we happen to be doing this. Sorry, you have the winners here. It's yeah. okay. Yeah, uh, but no, but he was like, he was used to being leveled up higher so he's like i'm gonna be able to kill this pig i got enough shots. right <laughs> so it made perfect sense that he was used to playing you know two or three hordes in on a game where you had much more higher experience yeah, yeah it's we're just hit. a pig yeah oh, it's, it's just, just a pig, a pig. A club. <laughs> yeah whatever no but, big nope. deal yeah. whoops but <laughs> now nah, if he had to survive that would have uh that that it, it had the potential to go on a lot longer yeah, yeah than it did because i think we could have gotten through I mean, we we got through the first horde night mm-hmm. anyway. Um, until and Neebs, Jack, if you, yeah, if you had gone inside, we might have kept going. We don't know. Yeah, you I mean, in your base, nothing was reinforced. They probably would have chewed through it quickly. Eh. But uh, yeah, had, you know, had Drellis been there, we'd have had more wood, more cobblestone. We could have reinforced it quicker. Finn, Thick, and I never had a shot. <laughs> no, <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> So good, <laughs> but so many things were learned. If we did it again, I think it'd be in. I want to do it again. I, th- I think we. Teams, I think we all want to do it again. Yeah, at some I do point. too. Yeah. yeah, at some point, yeah. for sure. It was fun okay. because you also got a prize out of it. Right. So back hey. to, back to yeah. the prize because I know there's a couple of things I want to definitely want to hear about. Make sure when you do tell the story, make sure you touch on golf because I like that you guys went and played golf. Well, top golf. Oh yeah, we tried to. Well, we tried to play the first day we were down there, and they were closing, and it was rainy. And so was, this is day one. Is what Friday? One. Yeah, day one. All right. Friday. Friday, okay. Friday morning. We woke up. Uh, well, Not what? even morning. Yeah, we, exactly. We, we got lunch and then. Left. Yeah, we got lunch in town, and then Where? we left after that. So we didn't get there until like. Three. We went to Smithfield's Barbecue, a oh, fancy restaurant okay. that John really likes. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> yeah, fancy, huh? Well, one it's time a chain, it's a chain restaurant. We all here call in it North fast Carolina. food. And one time you were like, "Oh man, that's one of my favorite restaurants." <laughs> oh man, I think their barbecue is good. Brunswick stew is damn good. Which, what are you talking about? Smith Smithfield's, Smithfield's chicken Smithfield. and barbecue. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Baked beans, great, potato salad. Great, mm-hmm. great Brunswick stew. You know exactly. They have Tesla chargers in the parking lot there now. A, a ton of Tesla chargers. Yeah, like a ton. Like I don't, I just don't see that being the demographic. Not really, huh? No. I'm gonna okay. take my Tesla up to Smithfield's chicken barbecue, <laughs> top it off, and get some get Brunswick. some slaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told uh, yeah, uh, Duralius, he has a Tesla. He didn't even know about that. It's oh. closer to this, his house than the other place he was going oh, to yeah, charge his right car. Mm-hmm. I was like, shit, I'm going to go there from now on. Smithfield's where? Over the there in Leland. In Leland. Yeah. Oh, across the bridge. Yeah, across the bridge. Make sure yeah. you visit it, everyone. Okay. Yeah, mm. yeah. go to Smithfield's, charge your Tesla. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, we ate there, and then we went in town, got to our hotel. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, Friday was just chill. We went to that, uh, remember, we, we, we found that brewery. Yeah, that, we tried Top Golf. They couldn't let us in because there was like a private event going on. So we were like, all right, let's go drink. Let's go yeah, find let's, a brewery. Let's start, let's start drinking. It's, Did it's, you say, do you know who I am? What? Yeah, did you tell the guy at the store are? does buy the <laughs> yeah. sodas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hippie? <laughs> oh yeah, no, I could have. Uh, I, I didn't. You pull, heard of the Neebs game? I didn't pull that card. I'm not that guy. We didn't even get a beer. <laughs> that would have got place. you in. Oh god, that's right. We sat like, down at Top Golf to get a beer, and the lady just kind of walked back and forth like three ignored times. us for ten minutes, and then <laughs> she came up to us and was like, "Hey, do you guys know how Top Golf works?" And she explained it all to us, and then I expected the next question to be, "So do you want anything to drink?" But she just walked away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh. okay. That's how it works. There you go. You don't right. get drinks. That's how it works in Myrtle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, left. Welcome to Myrtle Beach. Fuck so you. was that was that when you got turned away or 
Or was that when you played? They let us get in there to have a drink. Yeah, but they, couldn't. they weren't, oh, yeah, they weren't letting gotcha, anybody else gotcha. play. But they were like, ah, if you guys want to get a drink. I was like, yeah, sure, we'll have a drink. Yeah, sure. But we didn't get a drink. You so want to come in up, and watch everyone have fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then we ended up going, all right, let's go find a brewery. And uh, do you remember the name of the brewery? No. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you have a camera or a uh, picture. Because I want to shout this brewery out. I don't just want to say we went to a brewery. This brewery d- deserves a shout well, out. How did, how did we get there, John? Tell the story. Well, we, like we what, looked up brewery on Google Maps and said, "Take us to brewery." Did and you th- Uber? No, you drove. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. I wasn't. I wasn't going to drink too much. I was so, just going to have a beer too. Now y'all stayed at Broadway at the beach, right? We did. Yeah. We did. Okay. That's a convenient place to stay. It was super convenient. There's a lot it of shit to wonderful. walk around to. There's whether beers it's right there. Or not. Yeah. Yeah. We but we wanted to get out. Way. You know, ah, let's uh, we're here. Let's get out and about. Okay. Um, but this brewery we went we went to on the way to it, it felt like we were in a place we should not be. <laughs> like a women's bathroom. Yes, just yeah. exactly like, like that. A, there was a like urinal a kill anywhere. shelter. <laughs> yeah, no urinals, tampon dispensers. Yeah. So on our way to New South Brewery. New South Brewery. There There's you go. A picture. Um, but yeah, it's like in an industrial park and <laughs> or it, it, like everything looks rusted and run down. Even yeah. the brewery from the outside looks rusted and run down. It's like, like a pipe company, a glass a, company. Yeah. I was like, is this the right place? But then when you walk in, man, it's nice. Yeah. You turn yeah. the corner, it okay. says beer. And yeah. it's really cool because it is a functioning brewery and there's no separation. Like I think here in town we have Front Street Brewery where like you can see the stuff that they're doing behind glass. Yeah, but it's glass. all yeah. nice behind glass, and it's yeah. all meant to be decorative and yeah. a part of the allure of the place. This bar was just part of it. We were just a bunch of seats inside a brewery, and we could just kind of hang out around some tables while they're brewing beer behind us. Ah, it's yeah. not even it was a, awesome. Yeah, so it was what, great. What was the ambiance like? Or I guess... Uh, Rustic. Not, Industrial. Music? Was there... What was playing? There was music. Yeah, there's just some like classic rock. But like on some okay. shitty stereo in the corner, just kind of cranked up mm-hmm. with some right. speakers wired to it. Exposed <laughs> like uh, insulation, you know, and like, you mm-hmm. know, like steel beams, mm-hmm. like all. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, okay. and just containers of crap that the owners clearly just kind of put on a shelf and forgot about 20 years ago. Right. Yeah, it's not It's not designed to be rustic. It so, really is okay. an industrial yeah. Yeah. So a couple brewery. of guys were like, hey, you know, legally we can have people come in here and charge them per drink. And he's like, really? Yeah. We have to okay. fix the place up. And he's like, no, we don't. No, we don't. We just got to put some <laughs> chairs out. <laughs> well, that's where I learned about a weird rule in yeah, South was Carolina. Uh, you you could only get one beer at a time at a brewery. Hmm. Okay. Like, Because I was like, oh, Anthony, I'll get you a beer. And he's like, am I handing you two? He's like, I can't hand you two. I can only hand you one. I'm like, what? It's like he's being watched. Yeah. Yeah. Strange ass rule. So mm. can you hand that one to Anthony and then yes. he'll hand you a that second beer? That's like legal. Buckets. Yeah. Well, oh, that is a weird law. Isn't yeah. It? And yeah. also they, at the brewery, they can't do samples. Huh. Okay. Side note, where my mom lives, it's always been a dry county. Mm-hmm. And so all the restaurant, the loophole there is if you build a tennis court, you're a club and you can sell alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of restaurants up there with tennis courts that nobody uses. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no shit! That's that insane. Great. Nice. They have to be up. That is so funny. Yeah. Or they just ran a, down, I mean, covered in weeks. grass. They they look okay. Okay. <laughs> but so recently, I guess the the town just just passed. Okay, you can have beer and wine. Yeah. Now. This is getting ridiculous. There's so too no many, liquor, too many right? Tennis courts. No just liquor. Beer and wine. That's fine. Beer and wine, which is way better, but yeah. still. A lot of tennis courts up there. A lot of tennis courts. <laughs> I don't know a lot of tennis courts. Nobody's fucking playing tennis. What a Set bullshit a thing. It's like, you got to have a tennis court because then now you're a club. Because you know what? Someone created that law, and then the country club was like, well, wait a minute. We want to be able to serve oh. beer. Uh-huh. So and then, so, you know, rich well, guy for you. talked to the governor. It's like, well, you guys got a tennis court, so we're a club, so we'll pass that. That's what the Myrtle Beach thing started. sounds like. Big big bars are like, you can't have samples, and you can only do one. That's what it does. We've got to limit them somehow, or they'll take our business yeah, it's yeah. like the local guys fighting the breweries. Like, oh man, what a bunch of bullshit. Mm-hmm. But anyway, brewery was good. And yeah. then what did we do that night? We ended up at Dave and Buster's. I know that. Oh, and before that was a delicious meal. Oh God, yeah. Anthony drugged me. He, uh, Anthony wanted seafood the whole day. I wouldn't shut up about Joe's Crab Shack. And I wanted think. to go to Joe's Crab Shack, which is this nasty ass seafood restaurant. <laughs> and at is Broadway. It What's its Michelin rating? Say what? Michelin. Rating. Michelin rating? <laughs> I don't know. I think Does they're it go one, lower think one than zero. <laughs> Here's okay. It yes, used please to please defend yourself. It used to be in high school a long time ago when I would go to Myrtle Beach with my family, the fancy place with steam pots. Right. I never had steam pots in Wilmington. There's a few places now, but back then it was there was just nothing. You had to go to Myrtle Beach to get a steam pot kind of thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, Joe's Crab Shack. And <laughs> it was good at the time because yeah. I was a dumb kid who didn't know any better. 
Nostalgia. Yeah. So I now learned something that it's. It's shit. The rose-colored yeah. glasses shit. made it It's taste overpriced, worse. damn dry-ass salmon. Yeah. But oh, the place, like God. I, because, yeah, I remember going down there and thinking, well, I, you know, I couldn't afford to eat there, but I thought, man, this place looks cool. They got, like, the, the old shack kind of looking thing, right? Yeah. The oh, interior and the design's lights. nice, yes. Yeah. And I, yeah. I wanted to go in there. Yeah, don't. But their food's not that good. No, 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 no. no. Avoid that place like the fucking The, the crab legs were right? okay. I mean, those, those things are hard to mess up. They boil them and do that. I actually got... I, Neebs, I'm sorry. I wasted like 50 bucks of your money on King Crab Legs. Oh, it's our money. You wasted all well, we everyone's won it. money. Well, we yeah. won it. We won the money, but <laughs> we won the trip. But yep. I wanted, I got a pot with some yep. crab legs. Hey, guys, don't skip the ads. We got to make up for this meal that he had. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, this $50 podcast. $50 for King Crab Legs. Yeah, I, I thought I was getting Queen Crab Legs, the little ones. And I was like, let me just get another little bushel of this. And then they showed up, and they're these giant prickly legs of a king crab. And it was intimidating and scary. Like, how do I even crack into it? It hurt. But I've never had those before. They and were good. Got, and you got this as like, an, in addition just to your meal. Just a little addition. Just a little ad. A little ad. And, and maybe just, just a side of lobster. The, the, right. yeah. A little side of yeah. the king crab. Yeah. With a few extra just legs. A tiny little, They're the best yeah. part. The bill showed up. I'm like, yeah, you realize was, that side of crab legs you got was like 50 bucks. Oh, so, yeah. man. His appetizer <laughs> side <laughs> yeah. was 50. That's just bring so me a little cup like of truffles. Dessert? Oh, a diamond watch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Diamond watch and that hook over there. Yeah. Man, after Now, you know, in Vegas, at the buffets, you know, crab legs are a lot of work. Sometimes. They are. They are. In Vegas at the buffets, they they cut them sideways. <laughs> yep. Really? And you can just get right in? Yeah, you can just pick oh, the meat out. Yeah, man. that's what I would like. Yeah. Which buffet See, are you referring to? Oh, man. Can we go to Vegas? I want to say it was. Yes. Uh, we'll win the next one. Oh, my God. Mandalay Bay yeah. or okay. yeah, I don't know. Mm. I want to go to that. Yeah, I didn't. Place. I haven't been there in years, but um, I was in Vegas, but I haven't gone to a buffet in years in mm. Vegas. So well, things may have changed. I'm sure they have, but this is a realistic prize for the next one. Mm. Even though I know I'll never be a, a winner, I don't think I would. I would never bet on myself. One night in Vegas, yes, it's doable. Sure, it's a pain in the butt. But you only get one night. Only one night? No. Yeah, no. You go there. Oh, come on. Man, world no. big You're going to pack your bag you and matter? fly you and what go the, through all that <laughs> for one world? day? That's more That's you know, more of a headache. Yeah, you it is. You are insane. No, I'm with Neebs on that one. No, I'm with as well for once. You don't know how to live life? You guys are so old fogey that you wouldn't no. be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to grab a fucking backpack. I'm going to jump on a plane. I'm going to go to Vegas. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to party. You're calling us old fogies. Day, we got an I'm internal email home. going around right now. Like, who's going camping this week? And like, I don't know what I'm doing that right now. No. Oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna know go. if I can do that. But, the, I but most of your time is going to be, listen, most of your time is going to be spent, spent in the air. Not most. Yeah. It's not that long of a flight. That sounds fun. It's four hours, Just right? Yeah, yeah, four hours. You so leave got... like six a.m. You know. Eh. Nah, right, if whatever. I go to Vegas, I want to be there for a few days. Yeah, at least two. I'm just saying we paid. could do one night. I think it's, it's actually. I cheap, think it should be place. Vegas for like at least three nights, and it should be like the honeymoon suite. So yeah. the room is yeah. really funny. Ooh, but hopefully, I would, yeah. I was hoping we could get like a heart right. tub in Myrtle Beach and take some pictures in it. Or something I did stupid. look at one room that had a bathtub in it. Uh, <laughs> I came close to pulling the trigger. I was like, no, nah, uh, that's an extra expense. So, all right. So that. anyway, three nights. So yeah. So the rest of your trip. Okay. So oh, yeah, oh, no. yeah. Well, Friday, yeah, we went out and ate, and then we went to Dave and Buster's, and we just kept drinking and video playing games. video games all Best night. Best game there. Oh my God. Um, Connect Four basketball. I've Con played that. Connect oh, nice. Four yeah. basketball yeah. is amazing. We, we played that most of the night. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> all the other games, you just put a quarter in, watch something drop, win Die. some tokens, whatever, or shoot shit on the screen, yeah. whatever. Connect Four basketball, though, mm, could have played that all damn day. Because nice. it, it adds an element, because you know yeah. you need to block that movement, yes. but mm -hmm. you missed the shot. Right. Yeah. Now your ball is going in the wrong place. When you're playing the table version, it's easy. I want it here. Very right. seldom does it bounce into the next hole. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Trying to shoot it, it's like, fuck, I gotta get this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to see that, see how big it is in front of you. It is really, it's, yeah. It's, it's big, sizable. it's colorful, you throw the ball and, in and... And every shot will end up finding its way into one of them. Yes, or so out of the machine, yeah, or it'll bounce out and you do it. We had that again. happen several times where it bounced right back at us, like, yeah, oh. yeah. we had to catch it. There you go. <laughs> Just yeah, dangerous. we're not very good at basketball. No, <laughs> it's like it's funny. It's like, it's like a traumatic. You described a traumatic yeah. experience. Oh, yeah. it came back at you, and you were forced to mm -hmm. catch it. No, I forgot about it. Until Real now. things. Oh, and then it came oh. to me. Apps was trying to get his shot going, and then 
the the previous shot of me is going right at his face, and he's dodging that. <laughs> and <he's> like, <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. But then, yeah, Saturday night, we just, yeah, we kept drinking and then eventually stumbled back to the hotel. Oh, wait, that's where well, we I'm went. I'm sorry, that was Friday night. Well, Dave and Buster's, after Dave and Buster's, we went to the corner bar, which a long time ago was the the karaoke bar that's names right. that you sang Salt and Pepper at. Salt and Pepper here. Salt, salt, salt and Pepper. And we're in effect. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there's not, it's not a karaoke bar anymore, sadly. Uh, no, yeah. it's like a oh, fancy oh. bar no. now. I don't want that. Ooh. We have pants. Mm. And then we wandered out of there. To the next bar that just happened to be open, we drunkenly stumbled past another one and went, <laughs> and more beer. And then we just went in <laughs> right. and got one little beer. Yep. It was the heaviest, darkest oh, beer God, we've ever yeah. had. It was a big mistake. It was a big mistake. <laughs> you got a you milkshake. Night. Oh, that yeah. That was the end? That was yeah. your night, nightcap? That's oh, as far yeah. as I remember, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then we stumbled back. We Saturday was our big day because we went back uh, mm-hmm. and we were like, okay. We're getting up early. It hurt, but we got up early. We did it because we're doing Top Golf. Yeah, we're going to Top Golf and getting mimosas. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thick. You recommended Top Golf, and yeah. now we have experienced Top Golf. Top Golf is a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like bowling for golf, kind of. <laughs> like it, you, you can play games. Yeah. yeah. So it's it, with it, people. There's yeah, targets. You're, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. set up, and then these giant targets out there in this big field, and mm-hmm. you just you know do your best to put the ball into the targets. And it it knows your ball, and it. Yep. Keep yep. score most yeah. of the time. Yeah, it tracks your ball. Tracks so, yeah, your, there was yeah. a couple times where it went in and it was like it didn't. Come on, count yeah. it. it was like, but it oh, is impressive. Come on, baby, it's cool tech. Yeah, yeah. Now I went to a drive shack, which is similar to Top Golf mm. in uh, Raleigh, mm. with the JT guys, and they had a game. Uh, they had a game mode where on the TV screen you would see like these digital monsters. <laughs> so they're they're out there. Yeah, like. So and someone's got to have stop this them. monster at the red target. So if you hit it, you see on the screen that it loses hit points. Ooh. And it was it was fun. It bossifies it. Yeah. 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 And I, I don't know if Top Golf has that, but if they do, that's such a wonderful idea. And it didn't yeah. seem like it. They seemed a little more prim and proper. Like we're above such silly games. Well, they, they do have a lot of game modes. I don't know if you look through all of them, but mm. they've got quite a few game modes. We stuck yeah. to the basic ones yeah. mainly. So, yeah. But yeah, we did Top Golf and Mimosa. Here's my biggest problem though with Top Golf: the mimosas. No, the mimosas were fine. Well, but early they made me sick. I was like, "Oh, this is a mistake. I want water instead, please." Oh, that was that your might fault. Have been well, the yes, thick beer. Been, yeah, the night before and your choices. Yeah, I'm partying. <laughs> and all that crab. No, that like we, we go in and it's like, "Hey, all right, I want to play some Top Golf." Yeah, sure. Can I have your email? Oh nope. yeah. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to give on. you my email. It's like, well, we need your email for our systems. Like, why? Yeah, Absor was going to pay for it because he was paying for all the stuff and giving it to Neebs later. Yeah. And and I was like, nah, let me just do it. And I gave him a fake phone number that I haven't used in like 10 years. And I'm yeah. like, there you go. It's fine. Phone number and an email that I don't even know if it exists. Right. But then we get up to the thing and it's like, okay, now you got to enter your name, right? Yeah. Okay. And now put in your email. Oh, you motherfuckers. Crap. There's no way to play. <laughs> there's no way to play top golf without giving them idiots a goddamn email. That Absor is... turned into the World War One veteran. That's I'm it. not giving no. you my email. I don't like giving anybody my email, especially fucking businesses. Have you gotten anything? Right. I have gotten about 20 goddamn spam messages oh, so shit. far from Top Golf. Yeah. When, I, when I was giving it, I was like, you guys, like, I don't like giving my email because I get spams. Like, well, we don't really spam. We just use it for your system if you come here. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. No, bullshit. 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 <laughs> bullshit. It's That's worth why money you, to yeah, them. You Every have fucking an email you yeah. have to have a spam email, a spam email burner yeah yeah, you yeah have it's to have a, a burner second. email yeah no yep. i need a great one just bullshit email yep so lessons were learned At gmail.com <laughs> I hate well, so far i'm very excited this is fun yeah so now what okay now next? Sa- oh, what do we do oh yeah well i took anthony to wonderworks Oh yeah, oh, yeah. The upside Giant down upside house. down building. Wonder That's Works a is, science museum kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, You've never kind been. Of. Never. I've walked past it a million times, but just never went did with you, my family or anything. And did you do the nail? The, the like on the bed of nails. I don't think it was working when we got so on it. It wasn't. Yeah. No. yeah, the nail oh, thing was down. I sat time. on it and then it hurt. So I was like, I don't know about this. <laughs> did, like, <laughs> it's ow, a bed of nails. Right. So it was like a little bit sticking out of the top, a tiny bit. Did you do the bikes that get you going in a circle? Those the upside down oh. bikes. Yes, I love the upside down Those bikes. Those hurt. <laughs> I would have thrown up right away. <laughs> I yeah, I wouldn't did. have liked that either. I, I, yeah, I don't like any sort of spin. Yeah, thing. these are these are like these bicycles. They strap you into, and as you pedal them, you can do a full three sixty mm-hmm. if you get enough momentum going. And I thought it's when, when he describes it, I think like a little bike, like a little pedal bike in a little wheel. But it is an industrial size. Like yeah. these oh, yeah. machines build cars. Kind of, you ride this little bike. <laughs> Kind of thing. It's huge. And there's a ropes course 
there too. Did you, course. did you do that? There. Yeah, yeah, we did yep. the ropes awesome. course. Awesome, yeah. No, we had, a, we had a good old time. Yeah, that building from the outside just looks like it's upside down. Mm-hmm. Kind of crazy. But, but you go the in theming there. theming was a lot wonderful. Of, say yeah. again? Theming was wonderful. Yeah. yeah. We go in there. There's a lot of little experiments. It's a great place to take uh, family, kids, Anthony. Yeah. So I felt like the kid. Let, John let, had been there. <laughs> John had been there, so he's ushering me around. He's like, you can play yeah, with this the my sand. son. Yeah, check this out, little Anthony. Go, go, <laughs> oh, go ahead, fun. Anthony. Did you play? Because I, it's a, it is fun. You turn into a kid. I love the big bubble thing. You yeah, because you don't yeah, do that. The giant bubble with the string and yep. all this the shit. Like that's the only place I've ever been able to do that. Yeah. So yeah. you go like, oh, this is so great. I think we have a few pictures of people of like I was in a bubble at one point, and then we threw one over you. And, yeah. No. Yeah. We uh, did it all. Another one that I remember, I think it was there. My youngest was the best at it. Lasted longer than anybody by far. She smiled her way through. I think you put your arm through the super Titanic. cold. Yeah. Titanic she, yep. grade water. Ugh. Yeah. She she smiled the entire time and went like thirty seconds longer Ooh. than and anybody. Wow. Get on her. You should take her on a cruise. That's what I'm going to do. Just in case, just throw just, her in the water. Yeah, in case Honey, something happens, she'll be okay. That. Yeah. She's a strong swimmer. Hmm. Let's see. Then, I'm uh, looking for something. He's scrolling. Yeah, I'm just going through our pictures, Swiping actually. Swiping right. Yeah, this is uh, when we were in the place. Oh, yeah, and then we just kind of, we kind of walked around uh, Broadway at the beach. Yeah, um, looked at all the stores. Yep. We, uh, we did the Simpsons movie. The Simpsons movie was cool. Yeah, there's yeah. a Simpsons. IMAX. No, yeah, it's like a Simpsons 4D experience. Okay. It's like this little short, what, maybe... It's like 20, 20, 20 minutes. 20, 20 minutes. minutes yeah, like 20 minute short films a few different based shows. on the Simpsons universe, but they'll do stuff like you'll see bubbles on screen, and, you know, bubbles will actually fly at the audience, or yeah. something will splash, and you get splashed with stuff. There's spiders, like, walking around, and there's these little tubes that get air blown through them, and they're like... Yeah, on your so legs. Your legs. Like, ah. Makes you feel like this spiders. <laughs> But yeah, we spent most of that day just uh, p- pissing around Broadway at the beach. And then yeah. that night we just said, we're hungry. Let's Cap go check. eat at Paula Dean's oh, Restaurant. Oh, 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 I bet that was good. Oh, 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 Put oh, butter oh. on everything and fuck yes, it was butter, good. Butter, butter, mm, butter, butter, butter everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Racist Paula's food tastes good. Is that at Broadway at the beach? Yeah. yeah. That's where we got that magnet on the board up there. There's a They sell, they really lean into the stereotypical Paula Dean butter thing. Right, There's yeah, a whole they do not. section of butter in her store. Yeah. We had to buy a little magnet of butter. <laughs> he do not She's like, away. I'm Paula Dean. I love butter in the N-word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all white people. You like butter. <laughs> baby. Mm. I tell you, I've had a lot of things from her cookbook hmm. years ago. Damn, so good. I've never eaten that at that restaurant. The restaurant Everything was, must have been so good. It was, it was really good. I was do want to eat at the yeah. restaurant. Everything was good. And it's family style. So if you go there, go hungry. Right. Because they basically say, you know, hey, you get to order a meat and a couple of sides, and, we, and they just keep bringing bringing it to you until yeah. you say stop. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's so it's it's basically buffet, but they bring it to the table. Pretty yeah. much. They're gonna fill you. They're it's gonna like fill you. All quick, you can though. eat family style. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been to a place like that. I think they call it family style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Family style. Your Paul. Like Dean's Italian family. places are family style. Like. Um. You, a little. I've maybe as a. a yeah, I guess uh, maybe a couple of places as a child. I was like, oh, yeah, but I didn't really, I wasn't paying the bill, so I didn't pay much attention to Maybe oh, they okay. brought the food. Yeah, they kept like on a bringing boat, it. But a boat of this, a boat of that. As an adult, I've never <laughs> been to any place like that. Well, if we end up in Boone, we'll go to Daniel Boone Inn. That's get what it. they do. Ooh, Italian, Italian chicken, food? country oh, style steak. Oh, mm. <laughs> it's country food. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. But then, yeah, I mean that. And then that night, we uh, we, we did take an Uber this time. We went to a different bar. We're like, oh, well, we've we've done Broadway at the beach. We did that yeah. the Friday night. So the Saturday night, let's go. Let's go into town. Let's do something mm-hmm. nice. It's close and, to the uh, beach. Forgot yeah. the name of the bar, but yeah, it was close to the beach. Just a local dive. Yeah, and it, it was, was a pretty great. small place. It was an obviously an old house. I love bars like that. They're just a retrofitted house yeah. into yeah. a bar. You can kind of see the layout of the rooms before they blew all the walls out. Yeah, but this is where we made a character. Oh. And I don't want to say his name. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't. We'll call him um, Blank. Bob. Bob. We'll call him Bob the Guatemalan pervert. Because he was a Guatemalan pervert. Yeah. He was, he was from Guatemala. Neebs, I wish you were there. He didn't speak. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you Why? Did. He Help barely translate. spoke oh, English. Because I could barely. speak his language. Barely. Yes. He barely spoke English. Okay. He could he could form sentences and kind of get his point across. But and I can barely in. speak Spanish, so it would work out. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. you would have been a lot better than us. After all, I bet he called. I bet he's telling a story about his friend he just met in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> 
<laughs> the American pervert. No, Probably. No, it's like, you know, we were just talking to him like, hey, you know, he, uh, we, were, we were sitting at a table and he was just at a table beside us. He was eating some chicken wings and mm-hmm. we just got to talking to him. You know, but as the drinks entered his system, he just got more and more weird. Yeah, at first he was very chill. He was just like, you know, thank you for not uh, the the uh, discriminate and like not discriminating against him. Like yeah. right away, we Thanks actually for talking talked to, me to him and hanging out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just Y'all waited. To hey, do you're that. a person. Hello. Yeah. How, how you doing tonight? We're just hanging out. Yeah, and that was you know sweet. He he actually did he like tear up in the beginning. A little, like, yeah, thank a little you bit. just it's for like, talking yeah, to me. He's obviously had it rough right now. Yeah. Well, and, all, and also just the language barrier. You can yeah. tell that he he just has a hard time talking to people, and most people just don't want to deal with him. It's too much effort. Right. And then, yeah. if he doesn't have friends, Which is where I was like... at the end of the night. It's like, I can't deal with this guy anymore. Oh, yeah. I was just, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Most no, of the, the drinks time. started getting him, and, you know, this this is kind of a, you know, cool bar, some young, young, um, attractive, young, attractive ladies. college age ladies coming in. Um, <laughs> at some point, like he's sitting us like ass, look at ass, yes, and we're like yes. Ass. Oh, you're talking about the one to oh, the right that of me word. that I was in the way of. Oh, now that yeah, that instance was was funny as hell to John, me. But I, I shouldn't have laughed as hard as I did. Absro lost it for a long time <laughs> because he's sitting next to me on my left, and then to the right at the bar is you know a nice ass and. He like leans around me and goes, oh, look at that. Look at that. I look over and I'm, I back up for him. I back up. And <laughs> he's like, I can't see. I can't see her. You're. This, your, your belly. This is oh, in the way. Your belly's in the way. <laughs> your, your belly's, my belly's in the way. This is when he's friendly with us at this point. And was he's he like, smacking he's like your grabbing belly? Anthony he was touching smacking my belly. Anthony's he was belly. smacking your belly. <laughs> he's like saying, this oh, is in the way. I'm like, oh, I sucked it in to try and let And him I made see it him. worse. I laughed way too hard. I was like, oh shit, he just did this. I can't <laughs> fucking believe it. The rest of that night, I just kept rolling with it. I'm the fat one now. <laughs> Oh, that's when that's the first time he touched me. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't the last, though? Oh, he was. He, he, he was got just, he got handsy. He got, yeah. got, got handsy. Handsy. Just, yeah. OK, hold on Good. now. I want to I want to back up a little bit. Can you describe this man like if you would to the police? <laughs> uh, short. <laughs> yeah, very short. Short. Okay. short. So short. So I'm taller than Anthony. Than Anthony. So was he shorter he's than Anthony? Way shorter than me. Yeah. Way. No. So, so he was four foot. He's pro- probably eleven. Probably four foot eleven. Yeah. He okay. Is tiny guy. That, four foot eleven. I'm, oh, yeah. four foot eleven. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, tiny guy. Very brown skin. <laughs> very, Guatemalan. Okay. Guatemalan. And was he was he built like Anthony? No, he's skinny guy. A skinny skinny guy. guy. Skinny guy. Skinny. Probably older gentleman. Probably what? Forty five. Oh wow. Yeah, somewhere around Old, there. Yeah. Older. Older guy. Yeah. Older guy. Yep. Gray. Bearded? Did you say? No, no bearded, not dragon. Yeah, pretty no. clean. Uh, stubble, stubble, okay. stubble, yeah. stubble. All right, I got a picture painted. All right, yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll get this done. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like yeah, uh, he wouldn't us, stop. Us, us acknowledging that yes, we we also are men and enjoy women's posteriors. Just open the door for that's we're gonna that's the theme for the night that I can always go back to to reconnect. Yes, ass. Ass, hey, <laughs> ass, 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 ass. I'm like, I get it, I get yep, it. Yep, <laughs> yep. See, like, if I was with you guys, twenty minutes into that, we would have been out of there. It was you stuck out the whole night, though. It was the story. We had to stick with it. It was too funny not to. <laughs> yeah, it was, okay. They, something was happening, and we. Well, just, now after the weird bit started happening, we did. We yeah, we, we did didn't call the we Uber didn't eventually. Stay, yeah, well, we did call the Uber eventually, and then yeah, as we were leaving, he's like, "Hey, give me your phone number." He's like, oh, wait, I want to hang out. Yeah, uh, no, yeah let's here, hang out hurry. again. And I just like, gave him a random number. Like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you like, were oh, that guy. You should have given, like, given this guy my goddamn phone. No, you just say no, my friend. Give him the number to Top okay. Golf. He, he yeah, felt, Top he, Golf. Yeah. yeah. He was so happy to have friends. I didn't want to break his heart like oh, that. God. Yeah. And oh, he clearly Lord. frequented that bar because he knew the name of the bartender. Oh, he was behind. simping for the bartender hard. Simping hard. This he's like poor this girl that was twenty five years let's younger. Say than Megan. Him. I don't know. I forget the actual name, but he's like Megan. That's Megan. And he said she doesn't like me because I am short and old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Megan, uh, uh, look at that ass. Uh, uh, yes, uh, you're Mr. like Bally, okay. Look at the ass. Yes, Megan. We get it. Yeah. yeah Megan yeah, 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 from Megan uh, has a nice ass. ass. Good job. I wonder if he called that number. Oh, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, I'm sure. Maybe he found a new friend. It's probably so sad. He probably gets phone numbers all the time, and none of them are right. I'm yeah, just thinking, yeah. but whatever. The end yeah. of the night, he, he started like jerking off an imaginary what? penis. <laughs> yeah, That's when we kind of started to leave. Yeah, it was like, okay. Anytime yeah. a girl would walk by, he's like, 
oh, and then with his tongue, he's like, he's like doing this. Oh, no, that yeah. would have been he's it. He's doing yep. the tongue. He's like that, <laughs> that ass. That, la, 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 la. Okay. We so already have the, the visual. That's the tongue I never want to see come out of your fucking mouth again, Anthony, ever. <laughs> what, my it, tongue? No, no, the way you just did that. Yeah, but what are you imagining? <laughs> Where's the tongue? He didn't have just, to imagine. Is it your ass? You just, no, just, oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Right. I bet you I guys do it. It was the Guatemalan pervert. I know. I'm just I saying. bet you guys were on Impractical Jokers, and one of those guys were dressed up. <laughs> yeah. For a second, I felt like I was on a candid camera. I was like, Yeah. Is somebody watching us with this guy. It Jesus was great. Christ. It was the best. It was hilarious. Man. Well, wow. <laughs> kind of glad I didn't make it through Horde Night now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You went on you vacation could, a week you later. You might have been like Neves. What's the word for calm the fuck down? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Tranquilo. So that, tranquilo. Hey, yeah. Tranquilo. So that was the My end friend. of your night? No, uh, we, we went back to uh, Broadway at the beach after that. Yeah. Think, yeah, we, we ended up getting more beers. That other late night beer. Yeah. Is that where we did the Super Coronas? No, that was the first night. Absor showed me what a Super Corona is. Yeah. I don't know. Is that the Corona stuck into a margarita? No, 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 no. no. That's no. The, the Super Corona is where you take a Corona, the bottle, and you drink the head out of the bottle, and then you take a shot of tequila and you pour it into the bottle. All right. Oh. Absor was like, back in my day, I used to drink these all the time. <laughs> we had like two, and we were just. Yeah, we, we shouldn't have had two. <laughs> That's where we messed up. And then, yeah, no, we shouldn't have had two and then gone and got a fucking Guinness, just yeah. nasty ass milk. Oh, oh, Guinness. So, yeah. You know. Top, Top Golf kind of hurt, but then the mimosas made it better. Mm hmm. Except for Anthony, who got sick. A little sick at the beginning. And I was like, all right, let me... Let me anyway, we had, a good, we had a good-ass time. Yeah, we, we left. We had breakfast at a Johnny yeah. D's. And we they woke got up. the best Egg Benedict. That's Delicious. right. And then I, I bought a Boston CD, and so we drove home listening to Boston. Wait yeah. a minute. On loop, yeah. because the CD had four songs <laughs> on it. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a feeling. Boston CD? Yeah, yeah. wait. It was like one of those '80s retro places. Yeah, they had like Who they had buys CDs. CDs? There. I know, he does. right? I does. Wow. I have, we were in a retro store. I have a CD player in my car, and I'm like, man, we're on the road. It's wow. a road trip. Yeah, it's a fucking you know cheap ass Boston CD. I'm yeah, like, I want to listen to the same four it. songs on loop. Need a Spotify it account. Four? It was like four or five songs because we <laughs> got get, back to the beginning real quick. You yeah. guys heard of Spotify, right? You mm -hmm. can get an yeah. That way you don't have to man, mess with any thing physical. Oh no, you can hook it up. I actually like buying CDs. You can hook it up. I've seen your car. It's it's like. You have Bluetooth in your car? Yeah, maybe. You didn't I told him about yeah. this. I was like, you could get a thing to add it with eh, your aux cable. Eh, or well, I'm old school. Well, you had uh, you I, have an adapter, I right? I have Bluetooth in my truck. Yeah, because <laughs> in my <laughs> old truck, I got it. Well, with the tape I, deck? No, I, oh. I actually had a, a stereo put in years ago because I wanted hands-free, hands -free, you know, phone. The mm -hmm. stereo is from 97. <laughs> and I wanted to... Uh, have flash drives at the time because I had like Ooh. you know I wanted uh, to learn stuff while I'm driving so gotcha. I always flash drives I listen to but yeah you can do Spotify with my phone in my truck mm. yeah I like it, buying CDs on trips a lot of times we'll stop at random thrift stores when I'm out and just find the weirdest stuff and kind of buy two or three of them to listen on the road you're like it if Etsy was a person yeah <laughs> I did order something from Etsy the other day no, first time what ever was it? it was a tiny Dreamcast memory card holder oh it's like a little museum piece. You put it okay. on this little plastic thing. Etsy apparently makes whatever you want. You should make, they should make like a memory card necklace. Yeah. So you can have your memories with you at all times. Oh. That is actually kind of. Let's cool. start an F Etsy account. Can we? <laughs> Etsy store. We'll get old memory cards, drill a little hole through them, chain them up, and there you go. Yep. This one's signed by Neebs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the hell's a memory card? It's 50 bucks. This is. It. What? You missed the memory card? Memory card. This was like PS2, GameCube era. You needed a little memory thing to save your games. Even cameras have, like, digital no, 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 cameras have memory cards. I was drinking a lot during the decade of oh, GameCube. You missed that entire I technology. I played video games for, like, fucking 25 years. You don't remember, like, cameras having a little slot for a little memory card? Yeah, I, I vaguely. You know yeah, your hard for, drive? For like a regular... The cameras like he remembers are the ones he had to stand still for like <laughs> right, 20, right. Minutes. 20 minutes. You got the little towel you put over your head? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Prints it out for you right that there. Yeah. yeah. Now just say cheese for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to hate that because, yeah, you would, you would like the... Yeah, when the, the first time I played on the PlayStation... I was like, oh, I'm so excited to play this PlayStation game. You can't save it, asshole. You don't have a memory card. Like, what? Yeah. So Bullshit. many times you would buy a game it, like, right when you get the new console. And, you know, I couldn't afford the memory card. So you just play the opening of the game like 10, 10 20 times. Until you can afford the memory card. Yeah. What bullshit. It is bullshit. Or just leave it on. All of it. And your mom turns it off. You're like, I was saving that! 
Mom, ah. what are you doing? That's like Top ah. Golf. You have to give them the email address. Ah. I remember, fuckers. I remember, I was so close to the end of Fantasy Star. Ooh, Genesis. Yeah. Mm. And I don't know what happened, but my the cartridge came out of the Genesis during gameplay. A fit of rage. That is not recommended. It could hurt your save and game. I lost. I lost <laughs> oh, everything. No. Oh. Everything. Oh. I, I called Sega. <laughs> you called Sega. I swear to God, no. I was like, "Is there any?" Like, I was so close. I mean, I'm like, is what? Is there like any 14- I can get it back? Yeah, I'm like 13, 14 years right. old. And my mom's like, shut the fuck up. This is costing me money. And just play money. again. This is costing money to talk to these people. It just Stop. came out, huh? Yeah, I don't know just, exactly just what crawled happened. out of there. Yeah. Did you lose to a boss? I may have paused the game. And then kicked it. And, and then it. my sister and maybe someone she was dating came over and like they wanted to play. And so they just yanked the game. Love they it. yanked it out. And mm. I think that's what happened, but I'm not certain. But... Either way, yeah, on the phone, waiting for hours for Sega. Sega. (laughs) They're like, yeah, we we can't help you with that. I'm like, are you sure? (laughs) What if I send it to you? Could you open it up and put the game back in it? (laughs) God bless it. Yeah. If that's the right there, he'd be like, here, you need to call this number. (laughs) Hey, make it up. (laughs) <laughs> That's right. Give them the Guatemalan perverts <laughs> oh, yeah. You can uh, give these people my number, my email. Uh-uh. Reload the game. Yeah. Next time you run across a guy like that, run. you no no no. Okay. You do what you did. You give him the wrong number, but you get his number, so we can yeah. give him a call. Oh yeah. So you'd be like, hey buddy, how you doing? We'll call him on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, yeah, buddy? We'll yeah. hang With out. your phone. The your phone. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, they have things. To you could do to make oh. it so that they don't see should, your number. Hey, we should have a weird calls. We should have a segment on the podcast where we reach out to people. We're gonna we're gonna call somebody. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll get a burner phone and just be like, have a phone number, and then we could talk. If you want? We could also just do a Discord room, drag somebody in, and we could always ban them if they get weird. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh no! We'll see. Oh, this is another to technology. Start a banning service. It is yeah. better than the memory cards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need those new things. Or we can call them. Landline, preferably. Can we get like a cordless phone where it has a base on the wall? And My mom still off? has one. Really? She's like, up. Oh. oh. Battery's going. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> what does she do? She go hang, op- pick up another phone and hang that one up. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. Yeah. That's right. I remember <laughs> that. That exists. Yep. Yeah. If anyone watching this is younger, yeah, your whole house was the same number. Yeah. Someone upstairs, like, hey. Who's the, is someone on the phone? They're upstairs listening. Oh, yeah. They got the mute button on. Yeah. Used to, yeah, listen to your parents' phone calls all the time. Like, <laughs> I, used to get in, like, I, remember, I, I used to get in trouble uh, because uh, I was on the internet. Mm-hmm. Like your phone mm-hmm. used to be tired of the oh, internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. If oh, yeah. you were on the internet, you, your house couldn't receive calls because you were on busy. the internet. Well, they yeah. could. If someone called you, it would usually knock you off. That didn't knock me. No, it didn't oh, do that. No, that's, no. For us, yeah. The yeah, usual just, thing is that. I couldn't okay. get through. Yeah. What were you doing? Maybe that's because of call <laughs> waiting, huh? My dad got pissed off several times. Like, someone tried to call me like two hours ago. They can't get the damn house because you're on the internet. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. It's like, whatever, Dad. I was playing, I was playing fucking Jedi. Playing game. Ultima Maybe Online. Long. Playing my games. <laughs> my memory cards. Don't turn off the PlayStation. I was on Newgrounds watching cartoons. <laughs> ah, the internet. What else uh, we do? We got some seven days to die. Or we want seven days to die. T-shirts. Yeah. Airbrush. Airbrush. Uh, if, you're yeah. in, if you're in Myrtle Beach, you have to get a trashy oh, yeah. uh, airbrush T-shirt. Mm-hmm. They're awful. You can't. Did, I'll never wash it because he's like, if you got to wash this, you got to set your you know, washing machine to a special setting to wash this shirt because yeah. it's fucking paint. Well, I can tell you from seeing y'all in it, you probably shouldn't wear it again. No, I'm no, not. no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Really, really, really particularly bad. Yeah. If you want an official T-shirt for any brand ever, though, you can just go in and show them a picture on Google, and they'll print it. They have no qualms with copyright or legal stances on T-shirts. You like Ninja Turtles? We got Ninja Turtles. You you like Ghostbusters? Yeah. (laughs) We'll print it. Sure. Yeah. No, they don't give a damn. Whatever you want. Whatever, as long as I can keep (laughs) sucking on this vape. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, right. Yeah. What you want, buddy? What do you want? (gasps) What do you want? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, add some blood to it. He's like, yeah, yeah, we'll add blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, blood. God. The worst looking blood ever. 
Really? Oh. <laughs> I remember a as a kid shirt. in Myrtle Beach going, man, how do they do this? It's so good. Like, yeah. they'd write your name and airbrush. But there were it's like, good how ones. This was Where'd like, this guy go to college? Yeah. yeah. Our guy was really confident. He was but, like, Any, anything but, you want, I can do it. Yeah, but he yeah. couldn't. See, some people can do that right, and I've seen good, really shitty, you know, because it's cheesy no matter what you do, but I've seen quality where yeah. this was like, this was like somebody who used to know how to do it, but then got hit in the head with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden he's like, I can still do it. Yeah. I can make the Elba t-shirt. Blood. <laughs> Blood. We you, did tell him he had like an hour. Like, yeah, they were about to close in like an hour and a half or two. Oh, my God. That didn't take That's plenty of time. And they just five turned minutes. it around real quick. So I don't know. Oh, that that, yeah. just, that should have taken five minutes and been better. Well, while we were waiting for it, we went over to the Tiki Bar. Oh, remember the old the, Tiki, remember bar. The tiki Bar? You had to yes, wait for it? I remember the Tiki yeah, Bar. I do. Yeah. 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 yeah, we had to wait for it. He was like, yeah, I got a, I got a couple other things to do. I got Quality vape. takes time, Neebs. Yeah. Oh, so, that, hey, Tiki Bar was probably, you can reference our other podcast from years ago. Yeah. We went to Myrtle Beach with a good bit of our community. Yeah. So if you haven't listened to that one yet, listen to that next. Well, yeah, it was fun to go back in there. Like, oh, yeah, it's, nothing's changed. It yeah, looks exactly the I'm same. I'm sure it does. It's bigger than I remember because, like, walking out of it, I was very drunk. So I just remember, like, kind of getting out the front doors. <laughs> it was look. a big place. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, lots of fun. We had a good time, Anthony. Yes, yeah. it was very nice. We'll do it again uh, in the next round. Next we time we win, you guys. Yeah. Well, you're, you, we're changing the teams up. Oh, yeah. oh, you guys didn't get henna tattoos. Also, we thought about we it. Thought we thought about it. We, I was going to get a tramp stamp just for it. Like yeah. we won right at the crack. <gasps> Could have been fun. Oh, that and I was gonna be... nut on it in a picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. With the Guatemala. <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah, With the him Guatemala in the background. Perverts talking about you right now, my American pervert yeah. friend. Yeah, they were so Amigo. weird. They barely spoke Spanish. <laughs> that was a good accent. Thank you. He kind of sounds like that. Yes. Okay. All right. Do you Let's think see. the prize should be connected to how long the series goes on? Like, what if we all die in the first two days and the video makes, what, like 100 what if bucks? It's, what if it's however many days we go? It's like yeah. 100 bucks a day. Maybe. So it's like if like uh, if, if it takes, you know, if someone survives to day eight, the if budget that's the last person. The budget of the trip gets higher. It's higher. Yeah, yeah. 30 episodes in, that, see, we're that's going the to danger. Europe. That's the danger. You, know? you have to have a oh. cutoff. But, the, but then the two people who do the trip, they don't have a place that they're going. They just have a budget and get to choose what they do with mm -hmm. it. It's true. Yeah. Could do it that way. But I like sending people on trips. There's, no, no, there's no, stories that it get, will yeah. be a trip, yeah. but they get to choose the trip. So mm -hmm. if let's just say if you happen to you won again, if you guys are in the same mm -hmm. team and you went, the budget was fourteen hundred dollars. You can go to Chicago or yeah. you can go to Asheville. Mm -hmm. You that, don't know that's which the way one you're you can market. It. Like, yeah, well that's kind of what we day, do with even with Myrtle Beach. It's like let's just yeah. go to Myrtle. Yeah, like, every day you survive, tomorrow. our players get an extra hundred dollars added to the pot. Like it's an idea. Yeah, and then it's like, ooh, how far will they get? Or, or just, we have, just three, have the rule and have like three or four destinations picked out. Yeah, tiers. That's true. Survive okay. seven days, Cheers. you get trip one. Fourteen days is trip two. And if if you get eliminated first, you have to get like a tramp stamp and henna. Yeah, <laughs> airbrush. Like and something that's insulting your style. You have to get. Self. You have to get a colonoscopy. Ooh, I need one of those anyway. So and yeah. touched, touched by a Guatemalan pervert. Yeah, yeah. that's part of it too. Yo, Guatemalan colonoscopy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a drink He's that I don't want. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. All right. Well, hey, I guess that, that could be it. Yep. Unless there's yeah. other things we should say. No, I'm good. GG, guys. Yeah. GG. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Tried. Yeah, next good time. job. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to the next trip I take from mm. winning this. <laughs> I'm on App Store's team. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm. I'm <laughs> 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 Bye. Next